What is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, welcome to Take Thoughts and Take. Hey, I'm Lucy. Hi. Now we're going to watch your fun ass video. So today, I picked a video for you from a weird but oddly funny channel called uh, Easy Switch Sniper. Okay, links and, down below, right? Yeah, okay. obviously. And he speaks about this female oh. boxer who talks about how she can take 98% of the men in the world in a fight and beats up some professional boxers. She actually calls out some professional boxers, so... So... Wonder Woman. Okay, I want to see what she looks like. What's up everyone? So today's topic was sent to me by a viewer of the channel, so I do appreciate it. It was the perfect topic. I wasn't actually planning on making a video on this because I had no clue this even happened, so I guess the stars really aligned. It deals with a situation of a complete lack of self-awareness, and it looks like this individual has a history of making bold claims, but I guess she decided to double down on them a couple of weeks ago. It's really beautiful to see these types of things happen because it gives you a little bit of a confidence boost, right? You can sleep happy knowing that you're smarter than at least one person out there in the world. It's definitely a great feeling. It helps raise your spirits. Damn! Damn! <laughs> so the individual we're going to be taking a look at in today's video is a professional women's boxer. Now, I was legitimately no joke. I'm not trying to troll. I was unaware that women's boxing existed. If you were to have asked me which has a higher chance of existing in real life between a you Who doesn't know women's boxing exists? You'd be surprised. Unicorn and women's boxing. I would have picked the unicorn. I mean, my man SpongeBob might have had a higher chance of existing than women's boxing, to keep it real with you. Nobody that I know has ever said, let's watch this women's boxing match. Like, those words have never come out of any person. Fine. I... I mean, I've never actually seen a female boxing match. I know Mohammed Ali's dog. What's her name? Ali Ali? <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later. Layla Ali. I told you it was Ali Ali. Yes, I knew her name. It just kind of I me. knew it was close to Ali. Yeah. I knew it was close. So Layla Ali. Yeah. She's a female boxer. Mm -hmm. Never what, never seen her fight, actually. I Not saw, once. I saw a clip of her online. She was pretty beast. I heard. Not enough to take on a dude, though. I mean, I couldn't even take on a dude built like me. I am a dude built like me. It's the age-old conversation though, right? Men and women are the same. No, we're not. Person's mouth. I've never even seen a single promotion or an ad or anything related to women's boxing. I really just thought boxing was an exclusively male sport. But anyways, back to the story. So there's this women's boxer by the name of Clarissa Shields. Now, unlike the other women's athletes that we've taken a look at on this channel, Clarissa is actually pretty good at what she does. She's won two Olympic gold medals. She's won several world titles in three different weight classes. And she's apparently considered to be the greatest women's boxer of all time or at least one of them, so that's pretty good for her, I guess. I'm happy that she's had a successful career. However, Clarissa wasn't satisfied with all that she's accomplished. She decided that she would take this opportunity to compare herself with the men, and obviously the comparisons weren't realistic at all. Why do a lot of these female athletes not focus on their own career? Why do they constantly let their male counterparts live rent-free in their brain? These True. Bro. I don't understand why we can't just be happy and not compare ourselves to men. Women don't even talk about women's sport that much. It's men who do. You know what I mean? So I think that's where it stems from. Who started this bullshit? Comparing women to... Is that shit like is a female male rap ting 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 majority of our time practicing inside a boxing ring, that 98% she claims would drop down drastically. That number would plummet to the Earth's core. <laughs> She's not some Captain America super soldier who's just invincible against any man that's trained enough to challenge her. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? <laughs> 
I'm sure if you even pick a random guy that you see at a grocery store and train him like crazy for the next two to three years, maybe even less if he's already pretty athletic, I'm sure he'd have no problem taking Clarissa Shields on in a match. So this 98% number may be factually true, but it's quite simply because this is her profession. I would hope she would be better than 98% of guys who probably never put on a boxing glove in their entire life. But it's very important to note that the same wouldn't apply if we're talking about male boxers. I promise you, no matter how much you practice and put in hard work, you're not going to be able to step into a boxing ring confident enough that you can take on a prime Mike Tyson. I could practice for a <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Bro! Did you see prime? <laughs> prime Mike Tyson terrifies... Optimum Prime? Bro! <laughs> Prime Mike Tyson terrifies every man who remembers what he could do in the ring. Oh my god, he tore off a nigga's ear! Bro, just because he was about to lose. Bro, stop it. No, he would have punched her in the neck. Bro. <laughs> that would have been it. No. Right. Oh. oh my god. 24 hours for the next 10 years, and Manny Pacquiao would still put me to sleep in about 5 seconds. The same right. just would not apply to Clarissa. Right. If he became right. an elite athlete, I would without a doubt have way more upper and lower body strength, definitely bigger and stronger muscles, and in a physical sport like boxing, all of that counts. So let's just take a look at a video and understand a little bit more about Clarissa's opinion on her skill. Muhammad Ali is first, perfect she was sick. I am the greatest of all time. Yeah, she said that. 98% of women is real hate That isn't true. You're not 2% of the world. That's you and Muhammad Ali are not 2% of the world. Keep it real. I appreciate the confidence. I mean, I guess she's earned the right to talk a little bit. She's won quite a few awards, but let's not get carried away. Let's not get overconfident with ourselves. Muhammad Ali is literally on the Mount Rushmore of boxing. There are people who've probably never watched a single second of boxing who've heard of the name Muhammad Ali. I don't think the same could be said about Clarissa Shields. I can wager about a million dollars that most people have no clue who she is. Muhammad Ali is not just a boxing icon, but he's a sport icon. He inspired a future generation of athletes. This would be like if Sue Bird compared herself to Michael Jordan. Like, come on, man. There's levels to this and unfortunately, I hate to say it, but Clarissa doesn't even have 0.5% of the swagger, cultural, and historical significance Jesus. that Muhammad Ali had. Bro, you didn't have to do it like that. Damn. You know what's sad? He's right. You boys are just so cool. And yeah. It do make me mad. I know, look, that should make me mad. Yeah. No, that should do make me mad. We are cool. Because y'all make everything cool. Yeah, but we're cool idiots. I know. <laughs> ah, it's so frustrating. It's like, you're so cool. Boys are so cool. But it's just like, Grr. I get it. We look, we're it's to the point where y'all want to punch our faces in. But let's be realistic. Some shit y'all cannot say. So if Mike, if Muhammad Ali is number one, right? And she's number two. That means she's saying she can take on Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Manny Pacquiao. Floyd Mayweather, Canelo Alvarez, Joshua Clote, like, bitch, you capping. You. <laughs> Me. Bro. I did jujitsu, I did. I will whoop your I mean, ass. I, I, I will lose, obviously. Or you will pull unless, a few hair strands out. Unless I come with the counter attack on the sport of boxing. That's just facts. You can't even try to argue with me on that. I don't think Clarissa, even in her dreams, could have this type of 
flexing powers. Like, I'm sorry, man. So putting her name right next to Muhammad Ali is straight disrespect. But not only that, she skipped over all the other male boxers who deserve to have their name at the top as well. Yeah. She just skipped everyone and put her name at the top. I don't know if she got hit in the head a little too much or what. We might need to have a doctor run a scan on her. This was like a straight A student who graduated at the top <gasps> of their class, claiming that they're the second smartest person to ever exist behind Albert Einstein. Like, how idiotic does that sound? It's really the exact situation here, but the story doesn't end there. She first claimed that she's better than 98% of men, and then she said she's the second greatest boxer of all time, but we haven't seen her yet comment on how she thinks she'd do against male boxers. I hope that she can redeem herself here for the love of my sanity. I hope that she at least has a little bit of awareness left. So let's see what she thinks would happen if she were to take on a professional male boxer. Boxing champ Claressa Shields calls out Triple G and Keith Thurman. They may be stronger than yeah. me, but their boxing ability isn't like... That was where she jumped the shark. It's okay if you're confident enough to say, apart from Ali, there's nobody better than me. I mean, it's like LeBron saying, apart from like M Michael Jordan, there's nobody better than me. He's within his rights to say that. In that situation, he can actually back it up, or he can even prove to be better than Michael well, Jordan. Well, I mean, she can she can kind of back up technically because she's won so many championships. Yeah, but that's the thing. Triple G is a champion. Yeah. Keith Thur Thurman is a beast. Triple G literally stands there and lets dude hit them in the face and say, "It's nothing. It's nothing." He's nothing. It's she nothing. literally poked a hole in the argument by saying they may be stronger than me, but I'm like, you just yo, yo, that's it. It's just cap. You just came here to cap. Waste all our time. If someone's stronger than you, yeah, it does does um. Oh god. People think fighting is easy. No, it's not. Like mine. Triple G, he's older now, but I could give Triple G a run for his money. I am unable to form words given how disappointed I am with the sheer madness, absurdity, and <laughs> foolishness of this woman. This is what Triple G Gennady Golovkin looks like. Let me just throw up his boxing record up on the screen. I'm not gonna say anything. One time? He only lost once. Just once? Mm-hmm. 36 KOs? And I think Triple G is a god so much that I'm not even trying to find out who he lost to. Five people did not KO. <laughs> bro. Five people lived to tell the tale. Yeah. And they all... Bro. Because the numbers speak for themselves. I mean, he is, of course, a boxing legend. This man would seismic toss the rest of Shields outside of the boxing ring. We might have to rate Triple G's hands E for everyone so we can see a 38-year-old humble this extremely arrogant individual. Bring her back. He's 38 and she's calling him old? Bro, boxers have a half-life than almost any other sport. I mean, yeah, brain damage and hands and bones and, you know. Exactly. Yeah. But that don't mean he's, he's not smart enough to give that right hook. Yeah, but that's the thing. Triple G has a tough chin. He can take punches. He would kill her in one round. She wouldn't last a minute. We should put her in a match. To planet Earth. And here's Keith Thurman, the other guy she claims she'd dominate. This man also has a total of one loss in his entire career. Like, if both of these guys hypothetically match up against Clarissa, she would have to wear state-of-the-art protective headgear. She'd have to wear padding all over her body. These guys would have to wear triple-stuffed marshmallows as gloves. Instead of even entertaining the idea of a professional male boxer wasting their time on Clarissa, time might honestly be better spent watching grass grow. Why don't we have one of these YouTubers like these guys match up against her? Before she calls out any boxing legends, we might have no. to have her do a trial round with a bunch of guys who do boxing as a hobby. We need to see if she's even capable of passing that test because, to be honest with you, I think I'd put all my money on a YouTuber. I want you guys to think about what would happen if any of these guys got in a boxing match with Clarissa Shields because I wouldn't put it past her to call these guys out as well. I feel like it's only a matter of time. So first we have Andy Ruiz. Secondly, we have Tyson Fury. 
And finally, we have Deontay Wilder. I don't even think Clarissa's own camp, her trainers, her coaches, even her dad, I don't think they would even allow something like this to happen. This would literally be outlawed in every country city. I wonder what her dad said when she, when she said, when he, he heard that shit. I hope, I hope he cussed her out. Bruh. Dumbass, you trying to commit suicide by bluff? Why? Why would you say that? <laughs> what if one of them caught you outside? This is worse how than... How about that? It's... Catch me outside, how about that? This, this is worse than when that WNBA chick said she was gonna beat LeBron James. No, she said she was gonna beat who? Oh, I forgot who she said she was gonna beat. But she was. She said she was gonna beat somebody around that level of skill. I don't know, man. Skill. Like, there's some things that should not be said. Any suburb and household on this planet. But it's always a good day when a trash talker gets put in their place. I actually thought of the perfect comparison. This is exactly what it is. This is like a guy taunting a full-grown pit bull that's on the other side of a fence. Because the guy knows that there's no way the pit bull is going to get him, right? The fence is acting as a barrier. But as soon as someone opens the gate and the pit bull finds an opening, it's wraps. Clarissa knows damn well that no matter how much she talks, the boxing Federation isn't going to allow a man to match up against a woman because Bruh. it's just a massive waste of everyone's time. So that's why she's talking crazy. She's hurt. But they should. I honestly think that one day they should have a scapegoat. There's actually, there actually is. There's this transgender woman, a man who's a, he who has tits. Yeah, didn't they, say, didn't they say that that wasn't fair too? Yeah, he put, he gave da uh, brain damage to three women. I think put one woman in a coma, cracked skulls. Yeah, now he was just an average dude who decided to box now that he was a woman. Y'all women is crazy out here. I mean, pretty much the equivalent of a keyboard warrior. So I think those two Olympic gold medals that she's won has gone straight to her head and she's wilding. So I'm very interested to see what her two fans have to say about this situation. I hope her coach sits down and gives her a little bit of a reality check, tell her to calm down because she's only 25 years old. If this kind of behavior goes unchecked, she's going to have serious problems as she gets older. So that's pretty much my take on this. I think <laughs> female athletes should just stop comparing themselves to men because science is just not on your side unfortunately yeah i had enough of this he's right it's just insanity yeah like i'm not gonna get up one day just because i knew tai chi and say i want to fight a nigga you're no. really lost. if all men walked around with that level of confidence all men do no i, I think y'all do do y'all be looking like like we are we understand the level of difficulty in elite sports I'm not gonna sit here and say I can take on Tyson Fury. Oh yeah, but you, that's nice. You know, I meant y'all walking around like you, you can take some things. Oh yeah. 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 Oh god. Anyways, my opinion: this bitch cat. Peace out. That lying chick. She crazy.